What's up guys, welcome back to Geo's Wave and today I have another exciting video for you all. Sorry I've been gone for such a long time, I feel like I say that every single time I do a video. I, but I miss you guys and I'm bringing you a super cool video that I've never done before. I'm gonna be talking about the Rev Air which took social media by storm. Um, this video is not sponsored, it's all my personal opinion. I haven't even used it yet. I'm gonna be trying for the first time with you guys. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's this big industrial um, blow dryer. So, uh, this is what it looks like. Is actually heavy um, so this is what it is it's like a long hose basically it sucks your hair through this thing and it comes wait am I explaining this right already I'm messing up um, this is how you know I haven't used it yet uh, so yeah it sucks your hair through this part and this is like the little vacuum thing uh, boom I emailed them and you know I was just like tips on how to ex exactly use the thing although they, they send direction with this but they shared it with someone else yeah I never had um, they never had anyone do it with uh, my length of hair so this be the first time um, for them also that they get somebody with like a super long hair that probably feeds through it like almost half the tube so this is super cool so yeah quickly to explain the rep air so right here you guys can't really see but there's like nodules from zero to I uh, zero to seven so basically this is the heat so you go from like obviously zero being cool and then seven being probably the hottest heat obviously and then so this thing right here has like three you have three options the one basically is the same like a blow dryer I'm sure the one is just how fast the air is flowing um to obviously Obviously super fast and they actually say that it should only take each, like each section of hair should only take 30 to 90 seconds depending on the hair type this is why you have the nodules so once you have your comfort zone whatever nodule you have um, stick to it and stick to the 30 to 90 seconds I guess but we're gonna give it a try I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be on but I'm definitely not gonna start at zero one two or three Maybe not at four, I might just go ahead and just start at five, um, just because I doubt that it can be like blow dry my hair uh, within that 30 to like 90 seconds, anything between zero and four, but we'll see. So yeah, let me actually plug this up and we'll just get to it. Before I actually plug it up, um, I just wanna let you know. So yeah, wash my hair, there's absolutely nothing in my hair. I shampooed my hair, I conditioned my hair, washed everything out, but I did add this Argan Oil of Morocco uh, for, from OGX Beauty. Um, I just have that a little bit throughout my hair just so I can have like something in it. So yeah, let me just go ahead and plug up the machine and let's get this going. All right guys, so I got a quick section of my hair and we're gonna begin this process. Uh, let me make sure it's untangled, whatnot, boom, 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 boom. So actually I'm gonna start off with three because one actually got hot. It says 30 to 90 seconds. I'm gonna just go for the whole 90 seconds and we're gonna see if my hair actually get dry. And well, blow dry to blow drood, blow drood. Blow drone, uh, blow dry it out. I guess that's what it's called. Got the time, got the time drain on, and we're gonna try to see how long it actually takes. And I'm gonna start off with three, so we'll see. So I want to make sure I do a test with you guys. So 60 seconds, right, is here. So interesting. This is very interesting right here. Okay, for some reason here, for some reason my root is drier than the ends of my hair. So obviously I think I do need to go for the 90 seconds. I am still only on three, which I think actually I'm going to stick with. And I was only on, on 60 seconds, so I guess I can go to all the way to 90 seconds and get the rest of my hair, well, get the rest of this section dry. Alright guys, so, first section, done. So obviously it's not like completely straight, it's not what I'm actually even going for. To be honest, I'm not even straightening my hair after this. Um, I just want to see if it works. Honestly, from what I can see, it does work. It's very interesting, I guess, um, I got an email that I'm asking them uh, about this one interesting thing. Um, just how my ends are not getting dry first before my roots of my hair. If the air is coming from the from the the vacuum first, and then all the way to like here, like this is the last place the air should be c coming, like reaching, I guess. Or no, wait. 
is it coming from here is the question. If the air is coming from here, then it makes sense why my hair up here is drier than my air here. And then this is just catching everything in case anything sheds or anything like that. Interesting. I gotta ask them, I'm not really sure, because if the air is coming from here, because there's a, there's a vent here and a vent there um, on the actual like little vacuum thing. Um, if the air is coming from here, then it makes sense why this, my roots are getting dry faster than my ends, which means I just gotta do my ends longer before I actually go to my root, if that makes sense. So interesting, very interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going, I guess. Yeah. Alright guys, so I just got done with half of my hair. Um, what I noticed uh, right off the back is if you are thinking about using this blow dryer and you want it to get like bone straight, you are going to have to go a little bit longer or crank up the heat. Obviously I'm not doing that because I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not straightening my hair after this. I just want to see if the blow dryer works. From what I see so far, one, the blow dryer does work, two, it's interesting on long hair only because you have to do a little bit more work. For the first time, which usually for a blow dry, when blow drying your hair, you want to get a bone straight. A lot of people really focus on the root because that's where it's very hard to get really straight. Interesting enough, this blow dry gets the root really straight. For me, the problem is everything else, right? I'm saying that with caution because I am not, again, like cranking up the heat on this thing so i'm sure it would work a little bit better if i did crank up the heat compared to another blow dryer i'm guessing is it's not actually that much work only because one i'm not trying to brush out my hair and then blow dry you know i'm not really doing that thing i don't have the concentrate heat thing on the blow dryer um, with, with the comb or whatever however you blow dry your hair you're not you're you're, using, you're only using one hand basically um so it's a lot it's a lot more easier um to do it's quicker, um, it doesn't tug on your hair, which was great. Thought it was gonna do that, but it didn't. It hasn't done that. That's that, and I'm just gonna quickly just finish the rest of my hair anyway. And boom, you see the ends are like really poofy right now, but whatever. I'm probably gonna keep this in for like two days anyway. And yeah, that's that. It's so crazy that the roots are actually more dry than anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the other side. And that, we're gonna be done. My hair is completely blow dried out. Well, not completely, probably like 90, 95%. Uh, as you can see, it's not completely straight. You still see a little bit of uh, some uh, like wave pattern now um, because I didn't completely like try to blow dry my, uh, my hair out. I'm sure if I took my time, it could be way straighter than this, but that wasn't the point of the video. The point of the video was, does the Rev Air work? And my answer is absolutely Yes, again, this video is not sponsored, so this is all my own opinion, but I do have some minor hiccups with it. Um, although it gets the roots really well, it takes a little bit longer to get the rest of your hair, um, but I think that's just the way it designed. Also, I have to try it again to see how straight it can actually get. If I have to get a 1 out of 10 on how this product actually works, I will definitely give this a 9. Of course, it has its cons, but it's mostly pros with this product. It definitely cut the time in half. I promise you, if I was using a blow dryer with a brush and or a comb, I would still be doing this half of the hair, and I'll probably just getting starting on this side, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's a plus. So big shout out to Rev Air. You guys made a dope product. It is on a pricier side. I think it's like priced to like 400 bucks. So if you want to splurge, go ahead and do it. It's pretty worth it because um, it looks like it's going to last for a long time. It's not a, this is not a travel size like blow dry that's going to stay in your house and or salon. So don't try to like travel with it. It's just too bulky, too big. That could be another con, but 
majority, like I said, majority of it is honestly, it is pros. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment. Please like if you like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified anytime I do post. You know what to do. Follow me on all my social media. That is Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. It's all Geo Filipino here. Also in the description below. Yeah. Y'all know what to do. Stay wavy. Yeah. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.